Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of IC. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that he chose to join me today as we get back a memento to the white people. Um, I don't know what to expect, but we'll see. You reach the place in which you've been asked to search for the missing lover, but despite your efforts, you can't find any trace of a fight. You cover the area at least a couple of times, but still you find nothing useful. Suddenly you see some smoke rising from the woods ten minutes away from your position. Uh, it takes you a few minutes to reach the source of the smoke. A couple of tents? Is this a Neskimo or something? Uh, once there, you see a small group of survivors. There are just five survivors, one of them belongs to the white people. Let's approach them peacefully. You walk towards the camp with without wielding a weapon and they immediately notice you. As soon as they realize you're not hostile, they relax. You see a man coming to you. Greetings, travelers! What brings you here? Well, we've been told that a few days ago some bandits attacked two of the white people and killed one of them. We're here to find the body. You see the man of the white people standing up with a sad expression. I'm the one you're looking for. Uh... Yeah, I, yeah, a man asked this to search for his lover. I thought I thought he were looking for a woman, but I apparently was wrong. I might have been wrong. He said he were dead, but you seem quite lively. Uh, to me. He sighs deeply before speaking. I thought he would have never come back. In fact, he didn't, but he sent someone else to search for me. I just pretended to be attacked by some bandits. I added I an excuse to run away from him and from the white people. I don't want to break his heart. Fact is that I didn't like living among the white people, and eventually I understood I don't like men either. Oh, so, yeah. At least not in that way, not really. So you... Well, what now? What should I tell him? Please, don't tell him I'm alive. I will, I'll give you my necklace. Take it, for, <clears throat> take it to him and tell him you found it on my dead, rotten body. You will be sad, but you will, be, you will have closure and go on with his life. I don't want him to mourn me forever, but I can't tell him the truth either. He wouldn't ever let me go. Well... I... Pfft... <sighs> Well, I guess he knows him better than I do, but, uh, that's a bit, that's a bit weird. But then again, it's, who am I to judge this situation? Uh, it's cruel. You should have told him the truth, the whole truth. He deserves to know. You don't understand, he would never have stopped following me, not even if I told him the truth a thousand times. I'm begging you, tell him I'm dead. If you tell him the truth, he will abandon the temple and wander around searching for me. Okay, fine, I will do as you say. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Here, take my necklace and bring it to him. It should be enough. The man put a hand on, his, on your shoulder. Thank you. You are truly kind, I won't forget you. You leave the camp and walk away with the necklace in your hand. And I guess that is that? Do I have the necklace somewhere around here? No? Guess not. Anyway, let's go back and uh, let's report back to the guy waiting for news of his dead lover, I guess. I guess we can still change our mind, but... Uh... So let's uh, go to the common hall. You enter, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to the... Talk to the man. Yeah, it was this guy, wasn't it? Uh, did you find something? Yes, I found your lover. Oh, do you think he suffered? Did you manage to find something to bring to me? Well... Uh... I found his necklace. Here, take it. The man looks at the necklace and starts sweeping. Thank you. At least, at least I have something of him to keep it with me. Here, take this gun as a reward. It is, it is better than you have... Uh, it's, it's better that you have it than me, that's for sure. And he wipes away some tears with his hand. Thank you again. Now, please, leave me alone with my thoughts. The man stands up while keeping his eyes on the necklace, then slowly walks away. Okay, so that is that. Let's talk to the two girls again. They want... nah. They they really don't want us meddling with their, in their affairs. So I guess that is that. Report back to Vernon. Yep. Yeah. I have that to do as well. Uh, let me see. So, uh, I have plenty of food. Although, yeah, I don't have that much. 
uh, don't have that much fuel. That's kind of a problem. Uh, let's scavenge and uh, let's take risks. Let's use a rope. And uh, everything is falling apart. Uh, it's, oh no, actually, you're slowly walking when you spot something moving in the shadows. A mutant is hidden in the darkness. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot it. I got a lighter and two fuel. That's... That's, uh, that's fine. Totally fine. Let's scavenge all these places on our way back because, uh... Uh, not my body to break through the... No, no, I want to use a crowbar. Yeah! Of course, the building is collapsing now, but whatever. I managed to save my companions, though. I got one fuel. That's... That's cool. Uh, so yeah, let's scavenge all these spots on our way back because, uh... Because, um... I need the fuel. And I need the meat as well. So... This, and then, I guess, through here... So let's risk it, let's use a rope, of course somebody appears and I shoot them dead, I got one bullet and a electronic part or something. I am beginning to think that those are only good f to be sold, if I'm honest. But uh, okay, let's lock pick this lock, and uh, pick this lock I guess, a torch and a Nokia phone, that's fine. Uh, so these guys will give me food in return for some ammo. Uh. Sure. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? I got plenty of bullets. Besides, it's not a big deal. Uh, so I'll scavenge this. Let's take risks as much as we can anyway. We don't have ropes anymore. Okay, got three fuel, got some crowbars and some lockpicks. Always welcome. Always very welcome. And indeed, we managed to come back here to the Eden without spending any fuel. So that was good. That was a good journey. Uh, so let's talk with Vernon. Let's get in there. And, uh, I hope you have an important reason to come here. I'm not in the mood for small talk. I'm never in the mood for small talk. Yeah, I'm here to report about the outsiders. Um, yeah, I met the white people and visited their temple. Yeah, the technology haters. We don't know much about them, but I hope that a bunch of barbarians armed with sticks won't be something that we should worry about. Yeah, they won't be part of the fight. They, they like to shut this place down, but they don't seem violent enough to do that. Oh, that's good news. We don't want more enemies. After all, a mighty ancient empire fell because of barbarians. But are you talking about the Roman Empire? Is that... That's not exactly how... That's oversimplifying all the matter, but... Eh, sure, sure. Uh, good. While I think about the best strategy to follow, I have another job for you. A very important one. Oh, as opposed to the very important ones that I went to before? Huh. <laughs> I now need you to hit the traitors that are outside the, of Eden. Some agents betrayed our cause and I want you to kill them. Meet my loyal agent, Malcolm, at those coordinates. And don't pretend to be surprised, I know you are in contact with them, but I'm offering you the chance to do the right thing. So... What? 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 Is this the right thing? Killing our brothers and sisters? No. But what other choice do we have? The Eden isn't ready to face the outside world, and we need time to adapt and prepare ourselves. We just we can't just open the gates and pretend that everything will be fine. I can see it you can see it for yourself. You see how the mercenaries came here driven by greed and despair. One day the Eden will be open, that's certain. We can survive on our own, not for much longer, but we need time to prepare for that day, or people will just keep attacking us. Maybe we'll easily defeat those mercenaries, but how many assaults can we endure? We're not ready to let the world know about this place. Well, we're not. you're not ready maybe because you don't trade with the outside? Because I guess there's a certain point where things just get shittier and shittier after a while if you just keep to yourself, especially in a kind of survival situation like this. Uh, but yeah, I guess I have no choice. Well, we all don't. You have the coordinates, just find Malcolm and follow his lead. Sadly, this time we have no other choice than to kill our own brothers and sisters. Yeah, let's speak with, uh, Boris. Maybe he'll, he'll tell me something. Hey, how are you? Is there something I need to t you need to tell me? Sure, yeah, actually I do. But, uh, you don't seem to uh, want to hear about it. Okay, so I'll go now. I guess we don't really have a choice, unless unless I could speak with the other 
guys, maybe Eve line. Hi, Eve. Um, nope. So maybe Trevor. No. No, I guess not. I guess it's really just a quest, uh, just normal quest. So let's see. Is that the way? Is that is that where we need to go? Kill the traitors. Uh, yep, it is there. It is there. Okay, so there we go. I guess we have no choice. Uh, so let's threaten these guys. They they leave away. Yeah, these guys just don't pose any serious threat. They're just posers, losers. The place where Vernon sent you to kill the traitors is nothing but the warehouse where you met Boris before returning into Eden. Exactly where you were told, where you were told him to be. You were told him to be. Whatever. You find Malcolm, Vernon's agent, waiting for you to show up and take out the traitors. Finally, what took you so long? I've been watching over this place for days. The traitors come here, come and go, and sometimes to hunt, sometimes to do who knows what. Some mercenaries will help us. Maybe you know them since you lived outside here. They're called the Wolfpack. Very efficient group. Oh boy. Let me signal to them <laughs> that we're ready to fight. Malcolm stands on his feet and waves his hand. You see the Wolfpack moving to surround the warehouse. Are you ready for this? It will be dangerous firefight. We'll have to launch an assault on the warehouse. Um, uh, Yeah. We're not here to help you, Malcolm. We're here to stop you. Malcolm looks genuinely surprised. Oh, you are traitors too? He tries to reach his weapon, but the moment he moves his arm, fang, fang, yeah, there he goes. Place a machete at his throat. Oh boy, you're in a bad trouble right there. You will pay for this. The wolfback will make you pay for this. You're garbage compared to them. Even if there, even if there are just three of them, they will kill you all. We should really take care of them before they notice that there's something wrong. Yeah, what should we do with this man? Uh, well, I can't risk the wolfpack detecting us. I, I, I seriously, yeah, but I, somebody kill him. No, I'm, I'm gonna kill him myself. I'm gonna go all Ned Stark on his ass. You take your machete, not my machete. Wasn't it Fang's machete? Or whatever. And with a firm hand, you cut Malcolm's throat. He shakes, his, he shakes in pain for a few seconds before laying still on the ground, painting with his blood. Yeah, we couldn't risk him alerting the other guys. Uh, and now the wolf back. Let's move before they start shooting into the warehouse. So we're gonna catch the wolf back unprepared. That's so good. I, I, hope, I hope things are gonna go well, but I really doubt it, though. I have my doubts. You quickly run towards the warehouse. Your enemies are in position, but they didn't expect enemies from the outside. You start shooting at them while they run for cover. Okay. Okay. So, I might die now. Yeah, this might not go well. Let's hope that it does, though. It's not gonna go well. It's not. I can already see it. Look at that. Let's fall back. Uh, and let's shoot them with, uh, with guns and stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna die. I am gonna die. Okay, so the wolf back is just impossible to kill. <clears throat> oh boy. How the hell am I gonna get, I'm gonna get do that? How am I, I I don't even Do I need better weapons or something? I don't I don't really I don't really know. Um so let's go, yeah, that's cruel, if fine, I'll do as you say, and, okay, I'm gonna go back here and tell him, yeah, I'll do the same thing, we know all about this, so it's not a big deal, let's just uh, scavenge while I can, let's use a torch, and I got some nice stuff in there, so that was good, but uh, I need a fuel still, uh, so yeah, whatever, yes, uh, here, and he gives me something, and I'm out of here. Okay, so, oh, oh, how the hell am I? Am I gonna need to save scum? Because I, I've, I've, there's some variation. There's definitely some variation in uh, the amount of damage that I deal to the enemies. So, I don't know. It's is is it something that I'm gonna need to do? So yeah, raiders are attacking me. Let's attack them from a distance using bows. And that's I don't know what those grenades are for. But again, I need to heal myself. Let's cure me, and let's also cure my companions, because uh, it's Cutania, April, 
and the rest of the guys are fine, I guess. Um, yeah, that's a pretty major setback, because those guys are not fun. Let's use fuel. I got three fuel, so that's fine. Although, I don't have torches, though, which is not good. Not really that good, and uh, I kind of I kinda need torches. Torches are something that, are, that is very important to have. I think. At least every once in a while there'll be a, this event that we need to um, use a, tor a torch on. But, okay, so I got a grappling hook. I'm not gonna bother going there. Let's go back. So, food. Okay, let's take a bunch of... Yeah, I got damaged. You climb the tree, but when you, you're about to reach the bags, the branch collapses. Uh, of course it does. But I got food, so that's fine. Let's heal myself just in case. And let's go back to the Eden yet again. Because how the hell am I gonna do that? Saves coming looks to be the only choice right now, if I'm honest. Um, so, yeah, report about those guys. I met them. They won't uh, be part of the fight. Uh, like, yep, 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 yep. Uh, so is that the right thing? And then uh, I guess I have no choice and walk away. So here we go. Here we go. And now I know better. So I'll save the game. Sla I'll slave the game, I will save the game, and hope for a better thing to happen. Because if we don't have a chance in on these guys, so let's see, um... Maybe I need to go in the different route, maybe? Yeah, let's see, let's kill this guy, I will kill him. And now I, I have uh, the wolf back. Let's fall back immediately. And see, I don't know what that is. Let's use firearms. 47, 4, 60. Oh, yeah. See, there's variations in the damage I'm dealing, but nope, nope. This is not gonna go well. This is not. See, I just don't wanna stand. Do I need to engage in melee or something? Where the hell am I? Oh, I'm over there. What? What's that quest? Report to Boris. What? Seriously? Okay, I'll, I'll report back to Boris. Did I miss that? Uh, yeah, uh... What? Why don't I... Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, I missed that. So that's... That makes sense. Okay, so that, that would turn out for the better. That turned out for the better. Vernon, yeah, Vernon wants to kill your man at the warehouse. Yeah, we have to act. I need you to open a way in, in uh, for our allies outside and try to gain support of the peaceful delegation. Go to this old maintenance tunnel from the outside and place this bomb there. We need, we need When needed, we'll blow it up and open up another access point to the Eden. Ask Eve Line, she knows where it is. If the mercs attack this place, we will defend the Eden and then seize the power. But if you manage to convince the mercenaries to desist, it will be a lot easier. Try to talk with your leader. Even if we can defend, if even if we can defend our, ourselves, battle will leave this place heavily damaged. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I, I'll go as quickly as possible. We don't have much time. Verdon's not stupid. Do what you have to do and come back to me when everything is ready. Okay, so we got a plan. Let's see, speak with Eveline though. Uh, yeah. Um. So, what do you think? Uh, so, uh, you know, secondary. Oh yeah. Do you happen to know if there is any secondary access to the Eden? We may need another way in and or out, just in case of an emergency. Well, there was another access, a maintenance tunnel that collapsed something like 15 years ago. You probably don't remember it, but there's... Of course I don't remember it here. Anyway, but uh, there was an earthquake. As far as I know, the leader simply decided to ignore that. No one really needed that passage anyway. Now that we're in the middle of a revolution and we may have to fight those outsiders, well, everything changes. I hope the outsiders know nothing about it, it its existence. So, is that it? Is, is, that, is that it? Do I need to report back to Boris? Um... Uh, so, yeah... What? Why am I... What? Go to the maintenance tunnel and place the bomb. Oh, it's over there! Why do I... Mm, that's gonna be bad. Okay, I'm not sure how many days... Day 99 already? <clears throat> you arrive at the maintenance tunnel, or at least what remains of it. Just like you were told, it's completely blocked by rubble and snow. An explosion could easily open a path to get inside. You just need to carefully plant the explosive in the right spot. Let's place the bomb. You carefully place the bomb where it could open a passage to get inside, where the debris seems easier to destroy. 
Now you'll be able to open it when you need people to enter the Eden. You rapidly walk away and abandon the place. Okay, so what now? Now what? Talked with Boris again? Where is he? Boris? What the hell? Is it? Oh, it's over there. He's over there. He's over there, isn't he? Where the hell is he? Those, these guys are the Wolfpack and could still attack them even though they're there for some reason. Oh, maybe... Bo what? Oh. Okay. So, what? Kill traitors. Yeah, let's try and... Yeah, report to Boris. Let's go back here and uh, talk with Boris again. So, Boris, hi. Um, uh, what's the matter? Um, I placed the bomb. Let's finish this. Are you sure you're ready for this? The mercenaries are still preparing so we can take care of any outstanding stuff if you need to. So, he's not talking... Yeah, let's wait some more. You know where to find me when you're ready to finish this. Is it the, fin the ending of the game? Or is he talking about that? I don't think it is. What's that? So meet Malcolm, and then there's the Eden. Uh, I don't really understand what's going on, if I'm honest. Let me just save again. Make sure I don't screw things up too much. Um, well, I guess I can't do anything in there. Although it would be cool if I could. Maybe now there's something different? Well, I guess we can try. Let's, yeah, let's go with that. Why the hell not? I do need fuel, though. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, I know the stuff. Yeah, well, whatever. We are here to kill you. And, uh, so let's, let me kill him. Yep, yep, yep. And now, let's fight on melee. Maybe that will change things. Oh, see? 68 damage. Maybe 60. It's going fairly well. Nah, it's not. Look at that. It's already halfway through and there. Yeah, it's not. It's not possible. This fight is just not doable as, as far as I'm aware. And I died. I We died. We all died. Okay, so... Where, where, what do I need to do there? Let's go there. Because why the hell not? Why the hell not? And... Uh, Talk to the mercenary leader. Two guards? Yeah. Two guards watch over the Mo Morgan's tent. So, look who's back. Um, ah, no. Ooh, I could join them. Uh, I'll go now. Yeah, I will go now. Okay, I guess Boris is our only choice right now, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. Boris, we're ready. Actually, let me check your additional questions. Not, no, nothing. So yeah, let's finish this. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh yeah, let's do this. We will, we will have to face the mercenary attack before that. Will we have to face? Yeah, sadly, yes. Um. Yeah, I wasn't able to convince their leader to stop this madness. You hear an alarm spreading across the Eden, and then you start hearing a muffled explosion. The mercenaries are storm. Excuse me, got a hiccup right there. Massive hiccup right there. The mercenaries are storming the gate. You're not even finished gathering your things when you see Boris coming. They're here. We have to defend the Eden. Are you ready? Um. Yeah. What What should you do? Oh, they're going to storm the main gates. It won't be easy for them to pass through. It's built to last for ages. And if they manage to blow up the gate, we will take care of the few survivors stupid enough to step inside our home. So what about our defenses? Are they going to last? Well, they have to get through our massive gate and that won't be easy. And even if they manage to blow it up, we'll be ready to face them as soon as they step inside. Huh. So, well, I'm ready to... I'm ready. Let's do this. Uh, are you ready for this though? Yeah, I have to be. Our home won't last if we don't keep them away. There's just a few soldiers among us, but... We will show them how ready our real men fight. Okay, let's do this. Gather your people and go to the gates. They will storm the main gate and we must be there in case they manage to get through. 
Boris turns and starts running to the Eden's entrance. You run to your companion's room and find that they have already left and are ready to fight by your side. Yeah, it looks like they finally decided to stop camping around. I guess we'll, need, we'll be needed on the front line, won't we, Shiv? Yeah, uh, yes we are, but I won't force anyone to follow if... Uh, to f I won't force any one of you to follow me in this. I'm getting too old to walk on the mantle and living inside this place could make my last years on this planet a little easier. If I have to die for this place, so be it. We got this far and we won't surrender our chance to have a better life. I'll stand by your side in this fight and in all the others we will face in our journey. I felt misplaced for all my life, but not now. Now I am right where I should be, with my family, fighting for our future. This place is the only light I can see in my life, in our lives. Uh, we can't just run away, we have to fight for it, earn it. The Lord will watch over us, and uh, despite what happens, we will meet again someday in heaven. Well, maybe you. I'm not sure about about uh, my past, because I'm amnesiac. But anyway, this place is a fortress made to preserve human knowledge, and I won't let those primitives lay it all to waste. I, am, I already lost everything once. If I have to die to save this place and this family, so be it. Eva looks at you and smiles. I'm not afraid. Not anymore. If we can do that, we can survive even this. We traveled so far that it would be a waste to run away. Let's defend the Eden and claim our place in it. And most of all, I already lost what I loved once. This time, even an entire army can't threaten what I care about. We're here and it's too late now to change our minds. We will fight and victory will be ours. Tanya gets closer and kisses you. And to be honest, you need, to, you need me to cover your ass if you want to survive the battle. TJ smiles. I like this place, and it would be a waste to see it in the hands of those people. What can I say? Time for those for some target practice. TJ looks at you and winks. <laughs> I hope we'll probably celebrate after our, big, our victory. We deserve some fun after all this. Jeanette, Geneve looks distressed. This is not my fight. I am not of the white people, and this I am one of the white people, and this place is a blasphemy of our beliefs. I'm sorry, but this is not where I should be. I won't fight for something that I despise. My only task was to get in contact with you and try to bring you on the righteous path. I will go. I'm sorry to do so, but it's not fair to bring me into something like that. There's nothing you can tell me to change my mind. She quickly walks towards the exit. Well, I wonder how will she manage to pass unnoticed across the battlefield. Anyway, it's no longer a concern of ours. The alarm keeps sounding across the corridors. You see armed soldiers coming your way. It's time to fight for the Eden. Okay, I'm gonna cut the episode right here. This, I guess, it's been long enough, and uh, we'll see if I, I'm gonna be able to to um, to uh, survive the fight because, well, the game is getting a little bit rough combat-wise. But anyway, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been IC. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, feel free to leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next episode. Bye bye.